Hey, Wayne the Voice of a Goalie here. Today I am in my living room. And if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you might recognize it from one of my earlier videos. So in that video, I did an unboxing of my Warrior Ritual G4 set. I think it was the only unboxing video I've ever done. So I thought, well, you know what? We'll go back to that place because today I have this. <laughs> now disclaimer, this vlog is not an unboxing video. You know, unboxing videos are super stressful because you feel like you only have one chance to get it right. You know, one chance to open the box, one chance to get an honest reaction to what you're pulling out. So instead, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about new gear and what that means for us as goalies. So we all know that feeling of new gear day. And I don't mean like brand new gear, fresh off the shelf, that the pros have been wearing this season. I mean any gear that's brand new or even new to you that you are acquiring for the first time. As a goalie, it's a feeling that's super hard to describe. You know, you saved up a lot of money, you found what you want online, you order it, it's shipped to your house, and boom, you get the box. And let me tell you, the worst part about having a YouTube channel is that I got this box about four or five or six days ago, and I've been saving it for this. So yeah, we're gonna open the box and we'll take a look at the contents inside together. But this is not an unboxing video. You would have known that because the title of this video would say like, Vio Goalie unboxes X, Y, or Z. And while this box contains a piece of equipment that I needed for an upcoming video, it's not anything super, super special or exclusive. So I don't want you to be disappointed, but I think you'll find what's in this box to be super interesting for something coming up soon. So while we're talking about new gear, I just wanted to touch base on one of the things that annoys me the most about new gear. And it has to do with the internet and posting pictures of your new gear online. Now, first of all, I love seeing anyone's new gear that they post. I mean, I think it's awesome when any goalie gets any piece of new gear. But what totally rubs me the wrong way are people's reactions to these posts and photos. I mean, here you have a goalie putting themselves out there publicly because they're super excited about something that they got. And then you have all these internet trolls like ripping them apart. Oh, your color scheme is awful. That gear is from like five years ago. You paid way too much for that. I had that piece of gear and it was awful. You should have got this instead. <laughs> it just goes on and on. And when we as goalies post pictures of our new gear, yeah, we like to show it off, but we're also seeking some kind of external validation. You know, it's hard to justify new gear purchases, especially to your spouse, your partner, your family, your friends. I mean, they just don't get it. They don't understand how new gear can renew your interest in the game or build your self-confidence in your play. And so we seek that validation through our peers in online platforms. And yeah, some of us don't have the means to buy the latest gear out there, but it doesn't mean that the excitement of getting new gear isn't there. So you know what, next time you see someone post a picture of some new gear that they got, just be nice to them and say, nice looking gear. Your act of kindness to another goalie can go so much farther than you actually know. So a congrats or a sweet looking gear or a like or a heart or whatever it is, just be cool to each other. Okay, rant over. You've been looking at this for, I don't know how long this video is going to be. It could be like three minutes, it could be five minutes, I don't know. I know how you feel right now, you are literally Brad Pitt in the movie Seven. All right, so let's get to it. Um, my tendy tip for the day is do not open goalie gear boxes with knives. I haven't done this personally, but I've heard plenty of horror stories about someone slicing open a box and slicing through some piece of gear. So you know what to do. Okay, let's do this. Seriously, I've been excited and waiting for this moment for a long time. And take a look at this thing. <laughs> this looks super awesome. So I know what you're thinking, what's the big deal? You got a Black Warrior blocker. And in fact, this is a G3 blocker. But you know what? This is a piece of equipment that I have wanted for a long time. And for me, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a color choice. In fact, well, let's just compare it to my current G4 blocker. Yeah, I think this will work out good. 